hi everyone hi everyone welcome back to my channel guys welcome back to another video thank you so much for tuning in for ever welcome so just in case i knew here my name is pili papra and thank you for tuning into pili papra's entertainment here you guys my code like subscriber like the video and yeah share the video you guys and invite your friends and family uh let us just grow this channel thank you so much for you guys who always watching videos liking and sharing and everything else you guys are uh, so let us get down to today's video okay as i saw this uh, uh going on this morning but you know guys sometimes we're american then we come later and you know what so tabo besta gets an id while in prison is uh the story that i couldn't uh, uh, i couldn't wait <laughs> to do this video because in the morning and i see this uh but tabo besta was gifted with a new south african id remember guys a uh, tabo besta uh this is a criminal the one that was um no caught in tanzania with his girlfriend Onani Pamakuti, trying to run away remember guys he fucked his life he effect his death and ran out of prison and you know in love with his Pamakutumana and all of all, all those things that they did because yeah okay i think if any fella he's got life in jail he's saving life in jail something like that he, 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 there's a lot so it was only found out with our best is in south african with no id with beginning you guys remember when they were caught in tanzania they were caught with a passport that do not belong to them so Tabo Pesta but you be going with Tom Kelly, whatever Nani Pamakutumana with the Dr. Pesci's passports and all that and no documents of theirs and even those documents they were not stemmed, they were not theirs and not stemmed at the same time. So there is a story that has been going on with uh, his mother explained why he doesn't have an ID. He never really got an ID. So I mean both and Jimmy Nangika the clinic nepe did he have? Or oh, they had they had to start scratch uh, ukure chesta nje uthabo besta since eh he is the south african the criminal south african criminal dangerous criminal with no id so now the woman first decides to issue him an id i don't know why do they do maybe they did this to make things easier for him no man he's a criminal he's in jail as long as he's got an id i don't see anything wrong with that no man he's a criminal in jail man id that's okay but in general, we are still most of us who are about to be able to make They are offering him an ID. Uh, and you know, the young boy, and you know, his mother never really tried to do an ID form. That's why I was asking. No man, I said, when he grew up, he never really tried to can do anything. Some permitting, you know, some some liquor, something, nothing. He was just this criminal who was just in and out of jail. But now that this crime that he did with Unani Pamakutubana, so okay, South Africa decides to put an issue with an ID. I saw this from Isande World, you guys. So let us just go read. In some cases, a taller clarity, you could a decision, yeah, but uh, let us uh, just uh, give this guy an ID is because of why. In some cases, you know, so many people didn't come to the table pesta. Maybe they realize what you know, okay, if they give him, him an id I, I don't know you guys are uh, so sunday world here they were saying um Tabo Besta gifted with a new South African ID card in prison. Remember, guys, he's in prison. Uh, the rest of the co accused, they, 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 they applied for a bell. They are still waiting for that. That is still ongoing, the bell stuff. And, you know, yeah, guys, so uh, Tabo Besta and Anjay, he's, he's been, he was already saving 50 years or life in jail, something like that, you guys. So maybe Ababon uh, Kuti, no, no. Uh, but I'm not say ID. Let's just go and find out, you guys. Uh, what made them come to this? This you guys, can you just sit down and let me work? Can you just sit down, please? As a belief. So okay, you guys. Hey, my boys are everywhere. They, they, they're just everywhere, and it's so difficult to work with these ones. So difficult. I'm so bored. Nico, can you just sit down? Can I work? Can you just sit down? We need big houses. So, okay, guys, let me just uh, uh, um, read this one from uh, Sunday World. They said the department, under, under that picture, they are saying the Department of Home Affairs uh, has gifted notorious convict Chabo Pesta a South African identity document card in prison. Uh, Gallo images. Da, 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 da. So, the Department of Home Affairs has gifted notorious convict Chabo Pesta a South African ad identity document card uh, to end the controversy surrounding his many identities remember guys good age you are said he is have pesta he is tom kelly he's tk mutipe he is he's been using so many names doing these crimes 
he's been just using so many names like no one knows that who is Tabo Pesta and Kuri like he's a lot of people it's a one person but a lot of people like a lot was happening with this guy but maybe uh this was the reason before the ID he must stick to one <laughs> one name because hi putty okay they are saying uh this was um uh, to end the controversy surrounding his many identities. Okay, so Sunday World can reveal that a Home Affairs official last week visited the Kosimamporo Correctional Center in the country's capital to hand over the ID to Pesta, who was arrested in Tanzania together with his lover, Dr. Nandipa Makutumana. So uh, the move uh, came after DNA testing of Pesta's mother confirmed that he was indeed a native South African citizen who was born at the Chris Hani Baragwanath in Soweto. Okay, so two highly placed resources within the home affairs and control uh, and correctional services told this newspaper that Pesta's brand new South African ID card was delivered to him in person in prison last week. So Home Affairs Minister Aaron Mozaledi this week told a parliament that the police had conducted a DNA test on Pesta and that woman claiming to be his mother of which being so I mean I am trust mama I'm trust <laughs> how can you do IDs for all of your children and not this one I was kind of doubting because guys it's simply because there was a lot happening with Pesta not there was there is a lot so I was doubting would is it his real mom or what so now I'm satisfied okay so uh so he said that woman claiming to be his mother and the results came back in 99 percent positive it's like one you know that's his mom okay so further to this said mozarelli the department was provided uh, confirmation by the chris hani paraguana the hospital confirming that Pesta was delivered at the health facility in 1986. okay the minister however did not reveal oh, sorry guys um that officials had been uh, to Koshi Mampur, is it Hoshi or Hoshi, whatever, uh, Mampur to visit the Besta bearing uh, the good news. Okay, so yes, they came here to end the doubt over Besta citizenship and the real uh, identity. We were really doubting. Okay, so the, we now know he is 100% South African. A deep throat at Hoshi Mampur told the Sunday World. Mutualeti told MPs during the uh, tabling of his budget vote this week that Pesta was registered through uh, the late registration of birth process, which suggests he might have never had a birth certificate or ID card green book before. So we told you that Tabo Pesta was identified because of the mother that gave birth to him in Chris Hani uh, Paraguanath in 1986. The process of late registration of birth is to uh, get a document from hospitals um, where you were born, from creches, Sunday schools and all over. And we give that document to a special tribunal at Warm Affairs which decides on the basis of such a document whether they give you a birth certificate and uh, register your birth late. So the minister said only extreme uh, cases such as uh, that of Pesta demanded a DNA test which was done by the police, making the job easier for Home Affairs which did not need to repeat the process. Okay, so said Muzali that Ledu who is Pesta's mother, the DNA matches 99%. Let this matter come to rest. Okay. Pesta's identity has been a subject of great controversy since news of his escape from the Mangaung prison last year. In, uh, it then emerged that the man had been operating outside under different aliases, uh, aliases or something like that, including one of Tom Mutsipe claiming relations uh, to billionaire businessman Petrus Mutsipe. So Pesta also claimed to be a certain Tike Nguana, um, Tike Nguana, Nguana, <laughs> Nguana, okay? So as Mutsipe, he once uh, hoodwinked the woos, woo of the business of uh, Shopee's world in Houghton into singing him happy birthday songs during a bogus business seminar while he appeared on screen claiming to be in New York City when in fact he was in Jobek. So he used these many identities to conceal his real name while he scammed many people posing as a legitimate businessman. So Pesta's identity was under a scrutiny, a scrutiny again this week at the Bloemfontein Magistrate Court where he appeared eventually from Kosi Mamporo. This after Pesta's legal representative uh, advocate 
So when you have a through a spinner and the work splitting with the court to satisfy itself that the man appearing before it was uh, indeed the one who ought to be appearing. So Pillar said there was no irrefutable evidence before any forum that the so-called Tabo Pesta is indeed Tabo Pesta. A manu a maneuver that was quickly laughed off by state prosecutor pointing at the screen and beaming at the feed of, of from Koshimamporo. There is a person in the accused box that happens to be Tabo Besta. So Department of Home Affairs uh, spokesperson Sia Koza did not respond to detailed uh, question sent to him on Friday. So this is uh, from Eastern the World. You guys are detailing what a Tabo Besta uh, actually um was now gifted uh, an ID. So now some people are saying, ah, it's okay. Some people are saying, no, why Tabo Pesta? I suggest you have to stand up. Hey, I suggest you have to stand up. I do not know, guys. Someone is saying he's a dangerous criminal. It's not a gift. It's a way to track him. Exactly my thoughts. I I Ankawa would buy Benzele to do him a favor because he's a South African. Benzele would be track him. Gosh, remember the the ID, the fingerprints, the u u fingerprints in a young girl into his tombe and stuff. So maybe that is just to make sure he sticks to as we have a best and young girl ends a man. Check you know my fingerprints. Remember the the the, the crimes that he was doing because I can ID. I can fingerprint him. I can loot on you. You know, it might not be a favor, but. Uh, something like that. I do not know you guys. Uh, and then someone are saying, um, they said what? There are many people who have their IDs revoked by Home Affairs, claiming they are not South African. But Home Affairs is issuing ID to to non South African. Remember, guys, there are so many people who are still doubting. Ukuti is South African. They're saying he looks Pakistanian, he looks Somalian, and the Gwagun and Kurumo Jetsio, no matter what, I can say there is some Pakistanian men, da da da. So people say, yeah, Nanje, he is not Pakistanian, he is but if his mom is South African, I guess, guys, he is in a babantu and a bazel, and Kosia Mishlo was a kid, he is a boy, and he is a If the mom is South African, of course, the mom is the one that registers the child. The child is South African. Into Injalo, you guys. So his mom is South African. So guys. Even if Nkabuna was Pakistanian, Niyana, but if his mom is South African, then that means he's South African Pakistanian. Angers, you guys. So people are, some are not happy, some are saying, yeah, but it's fine, so that they can just track him properly. I don't know. Then someone is saying, that time I'm still waiting for my child birth certificate. There are people who are suffering. I'm going to my birth, I'm going to my ID. Yes, go and see my Okichi, my Okichi, my guys, we've got South African kids, Sila. Gunzi, my but yo, I will pay for it. Is what I tell about IT, but anyways, you know, uh, in that class, fun. So, and then someone say, Mutuality, a doctor Mutuality is forcing the men so called uh, Tabo Pesta to be a South African. Where are the operation to do that to put South African first? Guys, his mom is South African, his mom is South African, okay? So, uh then someone is saying, a Tabo Besta, black name, African surname. I am not sure which hair is that, Indian, Pakistan, or colored, but definitely not African. Who is this guy? So there are people who are still doubting you guys. Uh, these are just the, the tweets. And then someone said, he must refuse that ID because he is not Tabo Besta. He's not going to refuse. But I think you can take a man who says who bends a cat because I'm a fingerprint him to say who ID. I'm sure they took his fingerprints, right? They did this ID while he's in jail, then they went to issue him. Did they go to jail and take his fingerprints and I don't know. How did they do it? Whatever, they know better. Then someone saying legal argument before court just been killed and it's a uh, embroiling stage. Um someone are saying, Is he uh, a South African? You know, like yeah guys. I they show this is T B. Isn't it the first South African ID? Uh, yeah, guys, Guningi. So it should be illegal for any citizen to be without an ID document. Prisons uh, must be visited by Home Affairs officials to make sure inmates without IDs are forced to apply for them. So, hey, guys, Angaz, uh, Imbono Yasugana, when it comes to uh, Tabo Pesta, getting an ID, something like that. But if they did this so that they can manage to know exactly who they are dealing with, because this is a kulukutu of them all, I can see here there's an ID, the instigator here showing us that particular ID. Uh, you know, it's here. Maybe I can just throw it on my screen, Angaz, Tabo Pesta Tabo. Let me just see. I'm going to zoom it out and see. 
send them best at Tavo and then nationality South African. Uh, okay, I see there you guys. So this is a uh, Tavo Pesta's new ID. I can say, Wow, um, Tipe, um, ah, now, oh, but he is Tavo Pesta, you know. Um, so, uh, so home affairs briefing here by the instigator. So, Tavo Pesta was issued an ID on the 17th of May. Uh, I don't know, I apologize. Um, oh, that one is a different story, you guys. He just mixed the story, he mixed the stories. Uh, so. Let me see here. Minister Aaron Mutualese says he got permission from Tabo Besta to show the public a copy of his ID which was issued. Oh, so Besta allows Mutualese to show uh, the public his ID so we can organize a screening. Uh, so Besta allows Umparati uh, to see when he ID you guys. So the minister is holding it there and showing it around something like that okay say bonagi i diga mr pester you guys uh, i'm sure he's south african pakistani please <laughs> i don't know what to say and then here the instigator say i get what other people are saying that we have south african citizens who have gone for years fighting to get an id and tabo pester a convicted murderer and rapist easily gets his just like that i hear that loud and clear even me, I can understand that, you guys. Uh, there are so many people who are still crying. They can't get their IDs up. So they are complaining. Oh, good. I'm my face every time. But Tabo Besa just gets his ID just like that. You know? So, yeah. Uh, so, let's see. I've obtained the permission from Tabo Besa to show you a copy of his identity card. Home Affairs Minister Aaron Mutsaledi says, okay. Okay, he's got a new ID, you guys. Your thoughts on the comment section, like the video, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> I do not know what to say. Mina Jang is if they are doing it just to make sure who they know who they are dealing with. It's fine. But go through because there are so many South Africans here, guys, they are struggling about my ID. You know like if you don't have an ID in Pilo in you can't even open a bank account. Sometimes I go to twelve sevens pay you have an ID and all those things guys that really need an ID. About my ID. You hold my face, I participate too, guys. People need my ID. I have a best of pen, you guys. Abandon, they need IDs. They really need help. Now, my boss is a guy, I'm going to But, anyways, your thoughts on the comment section. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then I'll meet you again on my next upload. Bye.